how to measure the speed of sound in air with a PC sound card and only one microphone. Here we presents the simplest and yet accurate way to measure the speed of sound in air using only one microphone and a PC with a sound card. The measurement theory is based on the well-known equation, speed of sound equals to wavelength of sound times frequency of sound. We are able to control the frequency of sound that we generate. So the question becomes how to measure the wavelength of the generated sound. Our measurement setup is based on the software, multi-instrument. Which can be downloaded from our website at, www.veertins.com or www.multiinstrument.com. We will use its oscilloscope, spectrum analyzer, and signal generator functions. The hardware of the setup is a computer with a sound card with stereo inputs and outputs. The signal generator will generate a sine wave with a known frequency. The generated signal will be output by a speaker connected to left output channel of the sound card. Meanwhile, the generated signal will be fed into the right input channel of the sound card as a reference. The left channel of the sound card is connected with a microphone positioned along the axis of the speaker. The microphone is used to capture what the speaker outputs. As the propagation of the sound from the speaker to the microphone takes time, compared with the reference sine wave in the right input channel, the sine wave captured by the microphone in the left input channel will have a phase lag of phi1. This phase difference contains the contribution from the disparity of the two signal paths of the sound card as well. If we move the microphone away from the speaker slowly along the speaker's axis, the phase difference between the two channels should change gradually and accordingly. When the change of phase difference equals to 360 degree, then the distance between the two microphone positions equals to the wavelength. Now, let's conduct the experiment. This is the USB sound card we are going to use. The left channel of its headphone output is connected to a speaker. On the back panel, its left line out is connected to its right line input directly through this cable. Its left microphone input is connected to a microphone through an XLR cable. The speaker is placed upward to avoid the sound wave reflection from the table. It is also at least half a meter away from any surfaces around, in order to minimize the sound wave reflection. Now, we start the software. Generate a 1 kHz sine wave in the left channel. Adjust the sound card input gain for the left channel. Set the oscilloscope frame width to 100 milliseconds. Adjust the screen layout such that the X and Y axes of the oscilloscope have similar scales on the screen. This will help us to observe the phase difference through Lissajous pattern later. Multi-instrument is able to detect the initial phase of each captured sine wave through FFT in Spectrum Analyzer. We can display this initial phase through DDP Viewer. Click the DDP Viewer button on the toolbar. In the derived data point selection box, Select F1 phase underscore A, give it a name, phase of channel A. In multi-instrument, in order to display the initial phase of the captured waveforms, the FFT size of the spectrum analyzer must be equal to or less than the record length of the oscilloscope, and greater than half of it. The current record length of the oscilloscope is 4800, so select 4096 for the FFT size. Click the DDP viewer button again. In the derived data point selection box, select F1 phase underscore B, give it a name, phase of channel B. We need to define a derived data point to display the phase difference between the two channels. Click the DDP viewer button again. In the derived data point selection box, select UDDP3, which is a user-definable data point. 
Rename it to phase difference. Assign it a math expression. Phase of channel B minus is phase of channel A give it a unit. D for degree. Make it bigger so that we can see it in the video. Set the oscilloscope to Lissy Juice pattern mode. As you can see, the phase difference at this microphone position is about 160 degree. Take note of the microphone stand handle and the ruler reading here. It reads about 11 centimeters. Now, we move the microphone up along the axis of the speaker. The phase difference increases. Beyond 180 degrees, the phase difference becomes negative. Increase. Now positive again. Here about 160 degree again. This means that we have just gone up by a wavelength of THE 1 kHz sine wave sound. Take note of the same place of the microphone stand handle. It reads about 47 cm. Thus the wavelength of the 1 kHz sound is 36 cm. This gives a sound speed of 360 m per second. The sound speed in air varies with temperature. The current temperature is about 29 degrees Celsius which gives a standard sound speed of about 350 meters per second. So, the experimental error is less than 3%. Not bad, right? Verdens Technology. Turn a PC into multiple virtual instruments.